Hello, 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 hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good all the time, depending on when and where you're watching from. You're welcome once again to Ayeluni Talk TV. That is my name, you call me Ayeluni. That's my stage name. Um, as an artist from Nigeria, from the Yoruba tribe, I sing Islamic gospel. And as I told you, any of my music you want to listen to, just go to Audio Mac. Type in Ayeluni, a list of my music will pop up. And just keep download, you know, downloading and streaming the music. That is one of the support I need from you guys. Thank you always for the views, for the subscriptions, for the comments. I say big thanks to you always. You can say I'm very lax today. And uh, I would like you to grab maybe a cup of tea, coffee or whatever. And I want you to watch this with your partner, your spouse. I always want you to do that because that'd be one or two things we'll be learning together. Um, talking about where I come from, I come from Nigeria, as I told you. In my tribe, most of us doesn't believe in true love. When you are all over your wife or your wife is all over you, we believe it's not natural. Even some people will be calling you what um, to refer from there. But when you are chanced or privileged to visit other tribes or other country, you see how things are being done there. So moving to Canada has really transformed me from the old me to the new me. What I'll be doing discussing with you today is what you do to build a strong marriage what you do to build a strong relationship with your partner your spouse because some people are not fighting for it you do nothing what do you do to sustain your your marriage what have you done to strengthen your relationship or to build your home you ask yourself if you are able to answer this question then but I have a list of seven things I think you can do. I was serving the internet some minutes ago and I stumbled on the one write-up from someone. So I think I should share it with my subscribers. And that is why I will try to explain them to the best of my own knowledge. At times, I might say something. If you are not in agreement with it, let's meet at the comment section. I will never turn it off. I will never turn it off. I'm, I'll be here. I read all comments and I respond to each and every of it. So if you think maybe we should add this or that, I'm all ears. I stand to be corrected. These are my opinion in your religion. If you think uh, this is how we have to do it, this is how it, then I'm all ears. this. I believe we are learning. So to build a strong marriage the number one thing on the list you should do is communicate clearly communicate clearly with your spouse and often don't make it a one-time thing don't say <clears throat> uh, we communicated yesterday and the next one will be next month don't let it be like that. Let it be an everyday thing. Communicate. Be open-minded. And don't let your communication be about bills or about the kids, you know. Talk about each other. Discuss things. Talk like you just meet each other. Talk like a family. Never be bored of each other. So you discuss things. You communicate clearly. When I say clearly, don't expect your spouse to understand who you are saying without saying them. You are thinking something and they're like, you're supposed to know your quote here now. You should have known what I'm trying to say. No. Communicate clearly 
an orphan. That is the first one. Communicate clearly. Don't speak in tongue. Unless if you want to speak in sign, the sign, maybe it's something that you both understand together. That is the number one thing. And number two, tell your spouse or your partner that you are thankful for having him or her always. Let him know you are so thankful. You are so lucky. Oh my goodness. Tell them, tell him, tell her that you are so beautiful. And I am so lucky to have you. That is what I tell my Abby always. I tell it, I, I say this to her with what I do. I say this to her with what I say. Because in actual sense, I'm so, so, so lucky to have her. I'm so lucky to have her. And I appreciate everything about her. Let your spouse feel special every time. Not just a one-time thing. Don't wait till Valentine. Don't wait till it's their birthday or anything. Don't wait till it's your anniversary. Every day should be your anniversary. And that is number two. Number three thing that can help make your marriage strong is make time for you to as couple. Make time for each other as couple. Travel to eat with each other. Cordial. Cook together. Clean the house together. Have a walk together. Never let her feel alone. Never let her feel him, him feel alone as well. So have your time as couples. Don't just be like at a fair now. What else? We are married already. Then you just abandon him or her. Don't do that. So make time for each other. Let him feel special. Let her feel special as well. Let her know she is the best thing that ever happens to you. And as and vice versa. Make that number three. And number four is for both of you to have plan for personal time. Have time for personal time. When I say personal time, that will be with the absence of all and everybody. Just the two of you. Just the two of you. Talk. Talk dirty. Yeah. I'm sorry to, 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 to use that word. Say things. Say stuff. Just within the two of you. That is number four. And number five. It is very, very important that both of you should understand that it's it, you should understand that it's, it is okay to disagree. It is good, very okay to disagree. When you say things and she doesn't agree with you, that doesn't mean she's a bad person. Or when he doesn't agree with you, don't think he's a bad person. You both should understand that it is okay to disagree. You will disagree on certain things and you will agree on certain things. But never, never make it a parity that whatever you, your disagreement is, you will settle it without calling anybody from outside home. You will settle it within the two of you. That is number five. And number six, build trust between the two of you try to make her trust you. It is not easy. It's not a one-time thing. It's not just you do this and you think she will just trust you like that. It should be a continuous thing. Do it over and over and over. Build trust. If you are able to build trust, then your marriage will be very, very strong. 
that is number six and number seven is both of you you should learn to forgive learn to forgive each other we might be speaking we might be playing we might you might say things you don't like I might say stuff that infuriates you learn to forgive no one is perfect it might be a slip of tongue it might be from the past things happen learn to forgive whatever happens between the two of you never let it they go without forgiving each other don't hold grudges that you, know, you said so 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 and so so i'm so mad never do that learn to forgive each other and one last thing before i end today's video is that you should keep it in mind that once you get married things will never be the same again you are a changed person that is one thing the way you dressed before the way you keep your things before everything will change so for you to build or have a strong marriage you can keep all these things I mentioned in mind you will surely have more though some people have it some people do it and it still doesn't work but you can make it work if you know this is your home fight for it if, it's, if, if he is the stubborn one consider your children if you have and if you don't you are eating together you are family consider the love consider the love the, the, uh, consider the time consider the affection you have for each other why will I love you sometime and I'll say I don't love you anymore my marriage my home is worth fighting for and I'm ready to go toes nails and teeth to fight anybody that want to tear my home apart my children my wife they are my priority they are my treasure I treasure them and I'll never treat them for anything have this in mind and your home will be peaceful in my next video I'll be telling you what to do to satisfy your partner's sexual urge until then keep subscribing keep commenting the thumbs up make a lot of sense to me and i will see you in my next video thanks and bye for now